Safe air testers are designed to provide a quick and easy method to carry out accurate periodic testing of breathing air supplies. The European standard for breathing air quality is EN12021, which should be referred to in conjunction with any overriding national standards. This training session features the F3000, which is designed primarily for use on airline systems up to 10 bar, but can also test high-pressure charging systems when used in conjunction with the F3002 high-pressure regulator. The F3000 can be supplied in either a hard, weatherproof case or a laptop-style case, depending on which option is chosen. In both instances, storage provision is made for a wide range of accessories and equipment. Testers are supplied with batteries packed separately. Please note rechargeable batteries are not suitable for use with this instrument. These must be installed prior to use unless it's the intention to power the unit solely from a main supply. It's important to strictly observe polarity when fitting batteries and ensure that they are correctly located. If the tester is to be used adjacent to a power socket, the mains adapter may be used. Please note that the unit should be switched off prior to connection or disconnection of the main supply. The test is carried out using Draeger chemical reagent tubes. These are supplied in packs of 10 per type and in most cases show the degree of contaminant present as a colour change to the crystals that they contain. There is one tube each for oil, water, carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. The extent of the crystal colour change is read against the scale on the tube. To carry out a test, first switch on the machine by pressing and holding the on-off button on the keypad for approximately two and a half seconds. The display will show both the model and serial numbers. If the battery's condition is OK, press Enter. Press Enter again to acknowledge the date of the last calibration. When checking an airline system, ensure that the flow control valve is fully closed and then connect to the air supply to be tested. Ideally, this should be done by using the hose which normally supplies the breathing apparatus. Fit the appropriate adapter to the tester first and then connect the supply hose to the adapter. An F1946 female connector is supplied with the unit. This terminates in a quarter-inch BSP mail thread and enables an adapter to be made up to suit the user's BA system hoses. Alternative pre-made adapters for the most popular BA connections are available from Factair. Please note that a test can be carried out at any pressure between 1.5 and 10 bar. If the unit is overpressurized, it will automatically shut down and display an overpressure warning. It will then need to be returned to the manufacturer for checking and resetting. Once the air is connected, press Enter. We can now confirm the flow and pressure is adequate for your RPE. Adjust the system's flow control valve so that the flow meter registers the required flow for the face piece to be used. This is best achieved by raising the flow beyond the chosen point and then lowering it so that the top of the float settles at the required value. Check the pressure is sufficient for the breathing air equipment being used. It's recommended that this flow is left running for the duration of the test to simulate the conditions of use. Carry out the odour test by smelling the air exhausted from the sintered bronze outlet above the flow meter. If there is a serious odour problem, fail the sample at this point of the test. Initiating flows of seriously contaminated air through the tube ports could result in damage to the unit. If the flow, pressure and odour tests are satisfactory, press Enter to carry out the tube tests. All flow rates through the tube ports are set, as is the duration of flow through both the carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide ports. Duration of flow through the oil channel and water channel is variable and must be set as follows. Select the water range by means of the up and down scroll buttons. High range is for use on standard airline systems with a fridge dryer or no dryer and low range is for high pressure cylinders and low pressure systems incorporating desiccant dryers. Having selected the appropriate range, press enter. 
The oil time must now be selected by entering the preset times menu and using the up and down scroll buttons. The oil time is selected to correspond to the particular type of compressor oil that could be potentially present in the system being tested. This information can be found in the documentation wallet and is updated regularly on our website. The tester is programmed with four preset times, which cover the vast majority of compressor oils currently available. In this example, the oil in the system is known to be Castrol Aircol SN68, with no risk of cross-contamination from other oils. Consequently, the 15-minute preset time has been selected. Press Enter to confirm your selection. If the oil being used does not correspond to a preset time, the unit has the capability to be programmed with a custom time. This will be stored with the presets for future tests and will remain in the memory until a new custom time is entered. If an oil time is not selected, the unit will default to 15 minutes. This setting should be used if the type of compressor oil potentially in the system is not known or there is a risk of cross-contamination from other oils. Confirm that all settings are correct by selecting Y and pressing Enter. If settings are not correct, select N and repeat the previous procedures, correcting any errors using the scroll buttons. Confirm the amended settings by selecting Y followed by Enter to move to the next screen. The unit will now commence a 5-minute purge sequence, during which time airflow will be passed through all four tube ports. This clears contaminants from previous tests and ensures that a representative sample is being tested. Once the purge has finished, the Draeger tubes can be prepared for insertion. The latest Draeger tube tip cutter has three cutting blades. Insert the tube into the hole and gently rotate, then rotate the tube to the side to break the tip. Remove both ends using the cutter provided. This ensures a clean cut is made and that glass fragments do not fall into the tube ports. The tube tip will be retained within the cutter for later disposal. As each tube is prepared, it should be inserted into the relevant gland with the arrow pointing outwards and tightened firmly. Once all four tubes have been inserted, press Enter to start the test. The duration will be displayed as a countdown together with airline temperature, ambient temperature, oxygen content and pressure. For airline systems during the test, the flow control valve should be set to the flow rate of the RPE being used. This will ensure the system is tested under the same conditions as it would normally be operating. The status of the individual tests is indicated on the left-hand side of the display. Black indicates test active and clear test completed. The unit can be left until the test time has elapsed. The readings on the display will now be locked and the flow control valve can be closed. The readings should be recorded on the results pad or directly into the Excel tester results spreadsheet. A copy of this spreadsheet can be downloaded free of charge from Factair's website. Tube readings can be taken either at the end of the test or individually when the status bar indicates that flow has ceased through a particular port. Instructions on reading detector tubes and their safe disposal can be found in the documentation wallet. If the test sample contained carbon monoxide, a greyish stain will be present at the start of the white crystals on the CO tube. The extent of this must not be greater than 5 parts per million for the UK and 15 parts per million for the European standard EN12021. A maximum carbon dioxide level of 500 parts per million is permissible in breathing air. The expected background level is approximately 380 parts per million and this will be represented as a purple stain at the start of the CO2 tube. The oil tube differs from the others in that it operates by colour change rather than the extent of a stain against a scale. 
to establish whether oil was present in the sample, gently snap the tube as shown. Alternatively, if you have the latest Draeger tube tip cutter, place the tube in the back of the slot, making sure the dot closest to the tube inlet aligns with the dot on the cutter. Gradually, pull the end of the tube down until you gently snap as shown. Both the inner and outer tubes must break, but be careful not to tear through the outer plastic sleeve. Hold the tube upright with the crystals at the bottom and tap it to help the fluid that was contained within the inner tube flow onto the crystals. Once the crystals are wetted, wait one minute. If oil is present, a stain will appear immediately below the metal gauze. This will tend to be yellow for synthetic oil and brown or beige for mineral oil. Any significant stain would indicate a fail with an oil concentration of greater than 0.5 mg per cubic metre. Please note that once broken, the tube must not be inverted, as the fluid it contains is concentrated sulfuric acid, and this may leak out, causing injury. The water tube shows the amount of moisture present in the sample as a brownish stain on the yellow crystals. This is measured against the scale in milligrams per metre cubed. On an airline system, the pressure dew point must be at least 5 degrees C below the lowest temperature at which the system will be used. For systems with no dryer or a fridge dryer, this can be calculated using the graph on the reverse of the results pad. Having selected high range moisture during the setup stage, multiply the tube reading by 10, locate the corresponding point on the horizontal axis of the graph and draw a line vertically from it. From a point where this line crosses the curve appropriate to the pressure at which the test was carried out, draw a horizontal line. Where this crosses the vertical axis, read off the pressure dew point and compare to the airline and ambient temperatures shown on the display. Take the lower of these two readings in deciding whether the system is safe to use. In the case of the Excel spreadsheet program, the dew point is automatically calculated and a pass or fail displayed. For systems with a desiccant dryer, the procedure is similar, but low-range moisture should be selected at setup stage, the tube reading should not be multiplied by 10, and the low-range graph appended to the instruction manual should be used. Again, in the case of the Excel spreadsheet program, the dew point will automatically be calculated. When all readings have been logged, the unit can be switched off by pressing and holding the on-off button or restarted by pressing it briefly if further tests are to be carried out. The tester will automatically switch off after one hour if not used. Records of air quality tests should be kept for five years. Spent tubes should be placed in the container provided for disposal in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions when convenient. To disconnect the tester from the system, Make sure you leave the inlet adapter on the instrument and only disconnect at the end of the supply hose. The adapter can then be disconnected afterwards if required.